machine right here. Really get that. I want you to become very aware of your feet. You're stepping, step, 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 step. Yeah, aware of your feet. So don't look at your feet. But just develop this awareness of the feet. Okay, now we're gonna have a little turn back. Remember, it's like a bow and arrow. Relax arm. So I'll show you a side view. This gives me this relaxation here. So there's a lot of pressure on the back leg, and the front leg for now is straight. Yeah? You might be out of the beat, that's fine. connection between my foot and my hand. I am increasing the proprioception between my foot and my hand. That's it. So I go. Here. Jing. There is a natural bounce between the movement. So when I go here, I'm picking the leg up as if I pull the person with my foot here and then here. Okay? Now here's where I move forward. Okay. Alright? Now this is a tiny AU, tiny, tiny AU. Okay, so these are wishes to change place from one side to the other. Let's go. I think my hands here. And I come back forward. your knees and then fall. Aliwau, come back forward. Yin. Like a pontera here, yeah. Very elegant look. 
see this movement like a faint more or less so we're not kicking we're not kicking for kicking purpose like strike so it's an elegant movement okay so today's class if the theme behind the class is gracefulness I want to bring a lot of gracefulness into your practice so gracefulness and spider what a contrast yeah gracefulness and spider so we go from here we're not doing the spider part yet, we'll get there. <coughs> so we go from here, there, we stretch from here, and then the front leg, the leg that is in front, is the leg that falls sideways. So if I kick with my right, I want to fall right. But can I initiate this movement while I was in this back bend, so the body just fall there. So if you look as I fall, I'm still in a back bend, you see, like a resistencia, yeah? So we go from here to here in this, this resistance, move, resistance movement here. Just hold that resistance and come back up. Okay. Ginga. 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 We're going to go for our rasteira. Oh. We're going to go for our rasteira. Rasteira. And down. A little a from here. Step. Now you stop on that step. When you land, you stop. Okay, beginners, we're going to do many times. So if you didn't get this time, no problem. Then I'm going to step forward and turn my foot, turn my body, and I go un, stretch, and I keep that back bend. So un, dois. If you don't feel fully warm for back bend yet, don't go too far. <coughs> Excuse me. Un, and just keep this movement here. Then we're going to turn here and come back up. So it's a, it's a resistencia, okay? I'm going to do with my back to you and then facing you. So let's do a few times now without stopping. You've understood the movement here. And now hopefully by repetition you get the movement. But also we're training, we're finishing our warm-up with this repetition. Let's go. Land, 
Then it's like a martel here. Then here four. Now I'm gonna work on the left foot now. Pass here. Lend. Kick. Now, as you lend, opposite leg. This button here. This gives so much to the to the rest of this button here is gonna give a lot to the rest of the class. So you're gonna straight legs, you're gonna have a stiff posture. Stiff posture. Stop the music here. Okay, so it's like I just finished a half jahai. So the head is a, a little bit like this stretch position. So I am not right underneath like that. Now I understand some people practice other forms of hand balancing and they use this technique. We are going to use momentum from the back foot. So from here, the supporting leg is on tiptoe. And we just want to stretch, it's just this movement. But note that I'm starting with a lean, leaning back. My back is not upright. So I am here, I'm gonna kick and land, just this. Do not over bend the top leg. Do not over bend the top leg. Keep fairly straight and keep the supporting leg also straight. So we have supporting leg straight top leg straight, what, what, what is that doing? That's bringing a lot of awareness to your hip and to your glute, okay? Let's go, prepare. And, um, dois. Keep the stiffness. Três, as I kick, I point my foot. Quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, 10, 1, 2, you're only coming up because of the kick, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, change side, supporting leg is on tippy toes as you jump, and 1, 2, build up confidence, 3, 4, 5, 6, Sete, oito, nove, dez, um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Ok. Now the leg that goes up comes back in threading. Ok. So the leg that goes up from here. So I'm going to now do right leg for you guys. Is right leg. So I'm going right leg and come back in, come back in and we turn the movement here. Now here we want to go turn back and readjust, a lot of readjustments here. Then we go, you can start with me already, now we're going to go left leg, same stiff posture and then we go kick and then that leg doesn't touch the floor, thread. And as we come around here, we turn the body, we come out this way, and readjust. Now, before we really start, I would like you to see if you can catch the detail of the end. Details are more important now for the advance. The foundation is more important for the beginners. However, if you are advanced, try to catch this detail at the end, which is like me doing a martello. A faint martel idea. We are covering, we are coating your movement with subtext, with other symbols. And as you become better at putting symbols and subtext in your movement, your capoeira talks much more. Okay? I don't know why I'm talking like this, but maybe something to do with what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so watch here. We're gonna go up, down. So I'm, I'm learning the momentum here, momentum of that leg. Now here, as I come around this leg, 
is open like this. Open. Okay, we're gonna do something with that later. All right, let's train this together. This is very cat-like posture. I go up, down, here, martel-like. Then as I come around, look, one hand up, look. One hand, one foot. And I come back around here. In this expression, with my hands close together, open like a butterfly wings, then I readjust. Beginners, keep the foundation. Let's go. So let's start with your right leg. We go. Up, down, thread, turn. Hands behind your head. Keep down. On the side, left leg. Up, down, thread. Hand behind your head. Kick, fall. The leg takes you there. Kick. Really drag 
that leg, look. Now we go up. This is building up momentum to change hand and feet. If there is a point. We're back here. Change side. Left leg behind. Cima, or don't have space. I understand that, which is why I said be patient according to different levels. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We have our male with the French. No, we don't. What is he talking about? There's no male with the French. We have our Hastera. Pooh. Then here's Awu. Now this leg come forward here, then here I'm going to go into a hesitance. I lift this leg. Remember, like a martel, we've done this here in this class before when I taught you this for the martel. Then you fall back here. Okay? This is the position that you're gonna fall backwards for now. Then as you are coming back up, as you're coming back up this way, here. There is like a kick, and you have to fall here again. Then you're gonna drag this leg up. And here you're gonna change using some of the technique that we've worked for the bananera. So I go up, and as I change, this hand advance goes more behind you. So you can go into both the proximity here. I will do beginner's version again. Drag this leg up. Turn in more here. And then this is like just here. Then we come back up. Switch. This is your mouth pursuit.
now. This time, let me think of a bananera to work on. I don't think we've done open legs yet. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, let's do open legs one. So we go from here and we open. Open. Okay? That is that, and that is that. Beginners may be just up. Boom. Okay? Trust me, even if you just open and close, you are learning most of the movement. Let's go. Get to five. Big toes. Again, get it squat. Keep toes. Back. Open. Now we're going to close from here. And now we start. Okay. Oh, 
shoulders. Sit down, 